Hello, um, my name is Dr. Glenn Missick, and we're here again in Grand Turk and uh, working on this documentary on the heritage and culture of the Turks and Caicos Islands. And it is, it is my delight to have today as my guest, Mr. Noel Roberts, and his, one, his beautiful wife, Miss uh, Grace Roberts. They have been the stalwarts of, the, of these islands, and uh, we're here in the overback section of Grand Turk. And so I want to say welcome, and it's good to have you all with us. We're mm -hmm. going to just talk about what was it like growing up here in, in the Turks and Caicos. And uh, we want to thank your daughter Paula for, and Sarah for uh, allowing us to do this, particularly at the last minute. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about yourself, uh, Brother Noel, and... Uh, and, uh, and growing, just growing up in here. Tell us a little bit about yourself in history and all that. Okay, I'll be happy to do that. I was born in 1930. Mm -hmm. I'm from the district, as you call it, an old back. Old back. <laughs> Over back to damp. Damp. All as right. You call it at the yeah. time. So, like the other. People at that time, the children at that time, I went to the school, uh, the one school they had all age mm -hmm. at the time to go to school, uh, elementary school. Is that the parade? That one, the parade mm -hmm. grounds. Right. The teacher at that time was one Clifford Jones. Oh yeah, he had who, that. He had that cane. Who became <laughs> Ken Kenneth Jones? Jones. Eventually. Of the Anglican Church. Of the Anglican Church. I have a school thing consisted of that time, you had to go to school twice a day. Mm -hmm. You go to school at 10 o'clock in the morning, you quit at 1, and go back at 2. Mm -hmm. 2 or 2? At 4 o'clock in the evening. It's a long and day. You know, that was a, and a long distance. Yeah, a long distance. But you got to walk from here to back and go all the way in back Salina. That's right. So prior to that, we had a kindergarten, mm -hmm. which was held by a lady by the name of Miriam Simons. Okay. And a lady on the North Road, Miss Lyprin. Miss Una Glinton's mother. Una Glinton's brother. That's right. That was Nini. 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 At 10 o'clock, you had to go and fetch water, That's right. sometimes from North Wells, yeah. and at the public tank. Public tank, yeah. Next mornings, you have to go over east side, mostly where the wood was, mm -hmm. and gather wood. Off the beach. On the beach side. They, were, they came up on the beach, yeah. yeah. Wood that grow to cook. Oh, with. that grow to cook. With. That's right. That's right. Cooking wood. Yeah, that's right. Everything you cook with wood at yeah, that time. Yeah. You're cooking with utensils then. Well, the pot sometimes set up on three rocks, mm -hmm. and cooking can take place uh, there with this mm -hmm. firewood, I'm which sorry. sometimes you have to let dry. Yeah. Where it could keep lit and do the job. Mm -hmm. We had the regular terms. That in the summer you got long holidays. Mm -hmm. And during that time, most of the children go, they go fishing, mm -hmm. picnicking, riding donkeys and horses and <laughs> frolicking yeah. and all that. So after school, there wasn't much to do for the children. We are school and at the age of 14. Mm -hmm. Don't care how good you are, except. You have someone who could try to get you what we call Crawford School. That's right. There was an Crawford educator here right. from Barbados whose name yeah. was C. E. Crawford. Crawford. Yeah. And he had a private school. Mm -hmm. So you had to be financially to have some 
thrown away. Government gave much scholarships or anything. The lodges provided later on mm -hmm. to give scholarship. The odd fellas. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are a few people that had scholarship from the odd fellas lodge, right. which was the dominant lodge in the country mm -hmm. from that time. Mm -hmm. So later on, the girls, when they reached that age, if they didn't go to school, they were sent to learn some craft, mm -hmm. like sewing, mm -hmm. knitting, and stuff like that. The boys would go to a carpenter's trade, mm -hmm. which I went. Mm -hmm. Started life. Started life, and another mm -hmm. one named Lloyd Williams. I don't know if you remember Lloyd. No, I don't remember him. Yeah. Remember him. Yeah. Remember him. Lloyd was uh, from Baxalino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he and uh, Artie then were the two carpenters, mm -hmm. the and they took on the school children. A lot of it passed through their hands. Yeah. He Nothing. trained my brother, uh, Piggy. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, and that's how a lot. That's the only prospect, so to speak, mm -hmm. that the youngsters had on the island at that time. There wasn't many masons. There was one mason we had by the name of Richard. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, him. I think I remember him. Yeah. We do one and only. Well, he each uh, had a few apprentices, mm -hmm. but not on a big, a big scale. Mm -hmm. Up to now, we haven't got many native Mason. Mason's in the yeah, country. That's true. That's I can't do it one. No. So, life went on. At least so you keep on going to trade. Mm -hmm. Luckily, come the Dutch company. Mm -hmm. Dutch boat. Dutch boat came about. Mm -hmm and start engaging people from the Tucks and Caicos Islands. Mm -hmm. Many of us went to see first at what they call Coast School. Okay. They will take a set of people to go to do cleaning the ships and clean mm -hmm. the holes out, you know, mm -hmm. for 21 days. Okay. To go from the Grand Tuck, you know, Curiso and Aruba, mm -hmm. and all around the uh, the coast down there until you come back in 21 days. Mm -hmm. Now, if you prove to be good or you are needed while you were there, mm -hmm. you will be engaged as a sailor or a brass boy or something. You, they will keep you down there so you don't return. Right. So you'll be a member of a sh one of the ships that they had at the time. And that went on for years. That was the life saver of the Tucks and Caicos Island. So right. the only thing was here is the salt. Yeah. You had the salt raking thing, which was a talk a little bit about that. Tedious jobs. All right, the salt uh, ponds were there, and we rake the thick out of the salt. The salt get into the ponds from the sea. That's right. There were channels, of what we call canals. For inlets, mm -hmm. so the water was two or three of them. There's the remains of what's still there. Water's up there by uh, the Anglican Church now. Right. That's the yeah. one. St. Mary's, yeah. St. Mary's Anglican Church. Mm -hmm. Of course, the water getting there, and salt was made by evaporation. Yeah. Yeah. So and summertime of the year, the water slipped in the pond, and by evaporation, uh, over Hot time. Spun. Raw and all, and the brine that was tested, and the more water come up out of the uh, moss evaporation take place there, the quicker or nearer you are to having the salt yeah. remain. And that was the usual thing for years. Mm -hmm. And many, there was any any other thing here except uh, people fishing. Yeah. You had fishermen that and sell their fish, but a little bunch of fish for shrimp. Mm -hmm. I don't know, sure. I don't know three, what position, three. I don't know what, what percentage of a dollar shrimp. get out of Maybe, me. maybe three cents or something like that. <laughs> you call it thruppence thru 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 and pence. sixpence and shilling pence. and all yes. that. That was, that was British that, money. That was a British yeah. nomination of uh, currency. Right. And that's how people make their life. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Continue on the soil, is there the soil uh, the evaporate and man go in there and make one big cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's 
call it a breakup. Yeah. It's the form of a rake. Mm. Just about a garden rake. Yeah. But I got one now, what I got from my grandfather's house. Mm. You break up the, the, the soil. soil. Yeah. And it's heavy, you know, mm. to separate the soil into smaller particles. Right. Then man will go in and scrape it all, all together, make little piles. Mm -hmm. We have what you call windmills. Yeah. They turn and take the remaining water mm -hmm. from the pond and the suckle boxes that make the tundies by hand and dry the whole thing and you can deal with the soil. Mm -hmm. You had a crowd that go in and rake up the soil, the little piles, little heaps, mm -hmm. and a horse and cart mm -hmm. transport them with, only, with horse and cart. Yeah. You go in there, shovel that up, you put it in the cart and haul it away to the depository, which we call the beach. Right over and there, where storms are storm building there, is now. Yeah. Yeah. The Harbour House, the Harbour House yeah. and very other places right. too, because yeah. we had the, the soil thing going on, and hawks, nice riding place, yeah. Bayless Pond, right. all, all over the place. Yeah. Yes. But that was the only sort of life mm -hmm. in Grand Isle. Right. Of right. course, in Caicos Islands, they had uh, the agriculture, the growth thing, and bringing two Grand Isle. And they grow it in so much abundance that they, what we call the blades, mm -hmm. the thing that the corn grow in, mm -hmm. they ship that over here and the soul mm -hmm. to, I think, namely mostly the Thrift Brothers. Yeah, They're one of the premier yeah. owners. Oh, those are the yeah, yeah, Every governor would just see had a present from them. This is the this, this is all hand, hat. hand stuff. There's a little footies that you make for us. Mm -hmm. A little hat. That's beautiful. Yeah. 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 You put that the yeah, he's he's going to take a shot of it after. When it, when it, didn't and, get, um, when it get cold for them on your foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. My mother, even when she moved to New York, was crocheted. You know, she, knit, and, she knits and crochets. Yeah. Oh. But she used to. She doesn't do anything. Yeah. Like the, her arthritis, the hands. They yeah, got right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you have 13 children. How many grandchildren? I think it's around the 40, 40 now. 40 grandchildren, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So you, I mean, one of the things I like about here was that we were family. We were all family. In fact, somebody said everybody in Grand Turk is related, mm -hmm. some way, somehow. Uh, I know you're related to uh, Art Butterfield. Oh, yeah. You know, and uh, Art, uh, you know, you know, Cedar, his wife, was a mystic. Mm -hmm. And one day we were sitting there, and so he kept hearing me talk about Albert Adams and the Adams family. So he said, Glenn, you related to the Adams? I said, yeah, my grandmother was the Adams. Her name was Laura Adams, mystic. And he said, you related to Albert Adams from the I said, yeah, man, we were close family. And uh, so he said, my mother was the Adams. That's right. And he said... And he said, in front of Cedar, right, you know, who, who would swear by the mystics, you know, that she, he said, I'm more closely related to Glenn than you. Oh, God, that started a war. <laughs> 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 you know, that started a war. So it, it's, but, but he, um, so, so tell us a little bit about, I think I read that you, your family, I, th I think it's Sarah put it up there, that some of your family are from Q. My mother was Woman born in Q was a butterfly. My the mother case. was a butterfly. Your mother was a butterfly. Yeah. Okay. That's how I get related to them. Yeah. So she, she was, was born, born in Q. She was born in Q, North Caicos. Okay. And then she came here. She came here. As a Where little girl. Was a little, yeah, little girl. Yeah. Those days, I think the way they did it. Now you imagine a young girl after school. You got trouble to find anything here. Yep. Well, why didn't you? <laughs> I know, I know. That is Q, yeah, right. And here that days where we had the salt industry. Yeah. The only thing they had to do is to go cut bush and start walking right. fields. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, all the all the age when they could, they got any connection to try to get them over here. Yeah. Or salt key. The, mm. the whole of salt key is not key people. They all the fallow. I know. I all the fallow being in there. Those beans, they yeah. Know because my mom from there. Know exactly yeah. how all of them like for instance how all of them. I heard Father Bean say there. that one time at, at Cedar Butterfield's funeral. He it said, My good. family is from North oh. Caicos, you know, around there. That's how they so get the salt. They got the salt key because of the salt oh, industry. So the there's this back and forth, 
You know, I, I tell people so part of the missing family, the Williams. You know, we related to the Ashford. You know, Ma Williams mm -hmm. was my, my father's uh, grandmother's niece. You know, they're from Laramus. That's right. You know, and, and uh, but the, the, I mean, it, it, it's such, it's so interesting. And, and oh, I keep yeah. hearing this stuff come up about, oh, we're Turks Islanders. We're, we're, we're from the Caicos Islands. And I said to people, we're all oh, related. Yeah. But you see, they don't know. Yeah, I know. They don't know. Particularly the younger people. Unless you're you know. actually involved or haven't, you know. That's right. Because that's how I know so much about the Caicos Islands. Yeah. After my mother stayed and saw a key with the people who brought her there, she migrated and came to Grand Town. There was mm -hmm. absolutely nothing down at the Cake and yeah, Islands. Was, yeah, people yeah. have the islands to do, except when plant and reap, you know, yeah. and walk and, 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 and it was hard. hard yeah, the hard, hard, hard Hardly any school. And I used to mm -hmm. go south with, uh, to North Cake is where my mother took care of me every time we got holidays. Mm. The children have to come to school from different settlements. That's right. All of Walk Whitby, a long Whit, Whit, way. Whitby had come by as a pity mm -hmm. those children. Yeah, it was a tough and life. And walk back. And live in and thatch back. houses too. Oh, yeah, that's where all the houses were there. Yep. There was, sure. wasn't any other houses yeah. in that type of house. My father was captain of the, you know, the President Four first and then the Princess Pat. I know. So that. I got to go, you know, I got to see all that. I got to travel with him and and to see, you know, the way, I mean, you're talking about even up to the early 60s, some people were living in thatch houses, you know, and, uh, but, but it's, but tell us about your, your father's side of the family. There, there were Bermudans, the Roberts. Uh, uh, my generation came from English people. English people, they okay, yeah. From from oh, they came straight from English. The story is that okay. my grandfather's great-grandfather, name who was John Roberts. Okay. He was an engineer, there's all English people. Yeah. How he got he going to him first, but to the mayor to, to reach, you know, mm -hmm. and get the line of coming. He was an engineer on a ship. Okay. And you, you remember the days when every English boat was a supercar? Oh, yeah. You know, every morning. I know, I know. The boat was like that. And they had mutiny mm -hmm. on this ship passing. Oh. And he jumped overboard and swam ashore. John Roberts. This is John Band. He's not one of the Band part. Yeah, Band. Ben that's right. Band. Band. You remember Band? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember Band. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's it. You know. Ben I know. Roberts. I know Roberts. I know Band. Band Roberts. Yeah. Right. Band. I think Band Bassett was probably named after. After. Him. Yeah. And he came in. Mm. Now I, I trace it down to the first place that. Fishery soil, mm -hmm. which they, which done, it's in South Cagan. That's right. All right. Okay. He was the man who installed, this John Roberts, mm -hmm. was an engineer from that ship. Yeah. Installed all the motors, the engines, the oh. soil grinding. Uh-huh. You remember any of them? Yeah, yep, yeah. oh yeah. Remember one, yeah. Was there, one was there with Dempsey? That's right. Dempsey. Orphans here by the old fellas. That's right. That's right. One was up by the old cable and wire is up where they had a wharf. Yeah. You remember the wharf in front oh, of the yeah, cable the wharf, and wire? Yeah, yeah. How old are you? I'm 60, 67, so I heard. Like I you up there. You yeah, remember, you well yeah, up there. Remember, yeah. There was one with the um, new with the old constabulary. Mm -hmm. the police station, right? Police station. Grand, with the dispensary and all that. With yeah. The yeah. Grand zone. Yeah. It's the Felix Grant. Felix. It's Irene Cadet's father. Yep. So they had the four or five of them around. And he is the man who installed them. Oh. Now, knowing that my grandmother was a Liborn, okay, Mary Liborn, okay. that was her name. Mm -hmm. He had a choose in South Caicos. Yeah. This is how the first for that machine end up getting in South Caicos, mm -hmm. and to find out his wife was a black woman, as it was a white man, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a black woman out of South Caicos. Wow. I remember going to South Caicos when I saw Hootie, Lightfoot, and all them Lightfoot. Mm -hmm. What happened in New York when I went yeah. and they treated me, me and Ben, because me and Ben mm -hmm. almost go yeah. together on these sailboats right. and whatnot with Reverend Cadoga. Yeah. We yeah. talking about the, the 45. The 40s, yeah. Because when the 45 hurricanes together, Ben and I 
spend that in that same mission house that you see down there, Ben and mm -hmm. Henrine, yeah. and Reverend Cadogan's mm -hmm. wife. Yeah. He ran off and he could have stayed there with her. Mm -hmm. That we spent the 45 article. Wow. So eventually, I had to conclude this for anything like that to reach in Caicos. Mm -hmm. This jo uh, John Roberts, mm -hmm. being an engineer, the one that he ran and installed it, and when so he installed it, so I think he's going to have that claim because that's where he found his wife. Wow. And, and, and that's why I always say to people that they, they say Turks Island is really Sol Key and Grand Turk. But I, I said, no, it's also South Caicos because that's, they had the salt industry there of also. Course. You know, and, and, and a lot of those people, the Malcolms and all of that, they, they're those Bermuda names, you know. Uh, um, but this is this is really great. Uh, Sister Grace, uh, is there yeah. anything else as we begin to wrap up? Anything else you would like to add to? Um, well, I, I, I think you're, you're, you're yeah the Inghams. Tell us about the Inghams. And then yeah. it's spelled E. You know, my wife's maiden name. My wife is from North Florida. Is Ingram E N G R A M E E N G R A M Ingram. They you know, I. they spell it I sometimes. Yeah, those but, is I yeah, but e yours is I N G H A M Ingham. Ingham. That's what I. And um, so, so where were they from? Bermuda. Bermuda. Okay. And um, so the Inghams and uh, they came to they came to from Bermuda to 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 Grand Turk to uh no, to middle to middle cakes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mommy, you want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah. Well, the middle cakes family, the Ingham, James Ingham and Grace Ingham. Grace Paul Ingham. <laughs> That's who like. she's named after. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ingham's, the Inghams, Pauls. Mm -hmm. My grandma was Grace Hall. Uh, only the one living now is Reverend, Reverend Hall. All the others died out. Reuben Hall. Reuben Hall. Reuben Hall. Yeah. My sister was married to Reverend Earl Hall. Yeah. 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 He has a son now. I only had a son. I only yeah, he's a son of a PhD. Yeah. Okay. He lives in Atlanta now. Yeah. My nephew. And then the Francis. Yeah. Francis, yeah, family. and the Francis too. You related. We're getting we're getting ready to wrap it up a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, you were also related to the Francis too. Yes, right, and and all of that. So, but anyway, I want to thank you all for this time together. I know it's the last minute, but I will be back mm -hmm. to talk more about you know the history of our islands. I think it's important for our yes, young people yeah. to know. You know, I always say if you don't know your history, you don't know where you are, and you don't know where you're going. So we have, we have, I think we had a rich culture growing up here. I think so. And, and, uh, and, and we got along and the church played an important role. Remember the Baptist parties up on oh, the banks yeah. and all oh, that? Oh boy, the, don't the Church parties. That. That's, yeah. 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 All right, was your name? That's right, it was always right. Yeah. Helena, yeah. And the big woman from Barcelona. Oh yeah, Miss, Miss, uh,